Sites Reservoir is a proposed off-stream reservoir that would supply water for people, farms, and the environment during dry periods when it's most needed. The reservoir would be located near Maxwell, California, a rural farming town in Colusa County, approximately 65 miles northwest of Sacramento in the Sacramento Valley. The site's project authority was established in 2010 to ensure that local stakeholders have oversight of the project and that participants are involved and leading the development and future operations of Sites Reservoir. The authority is a public agency made up of several public water agencies, public irrigation districts, counties, and cities across the Sacramento Valley collectively representing millions of people, thousands of acres of food-producing farmland, and the environment. Members of the site's project team live and work in Maxwell, and we're proud to be a part of the community. We also recognize Sites Reservoir would change the landscape of this area, so we're working closely with residents, local landowners, local businesses, and public agencies to incorporate their input into the planning and construction of Sites Reservoir. The proposed location for Sites Reservoir is uniquely situated as a natural bowl in the earth. For an off-river reservoir, this is the perfect location to store extra water for dry years. Sites would stretch 13 miles long from north to south and four miles wide from east to west. When full, the reservoir would be around 260 feet deep from surface to floor at its lowest point. The reservoir can hold up to 1.5 million acre feet of water, enough to serve 7.5 million people with water for an entire year. Once constructed, it will be the eighth largest reservoir in California. The hills surrounding the reservoir will naturally hold in most of the water in sites. Where the hills drop too low, dams will be built to keep the water contained. The reservoir has two primary dams, Sites Dam and Golden Gate Dam, not to be confused with dams that block waterways and rivers. The dams that are part of Sites Reservoir will not dam any major river or impede fish migration. Sites Dam and Golden Gate Dam are 267 feet and 287 feet tall, respectively, and up to 1,300 feet wide at their bases. Sites would also include nine small dams and dikes to top off the ridges and hold the water at the right level. The saddle dams and dikes range in height between 10 and 120 feet. Sites water must be diverted to storage and would be moved into the reservoir during times of high precipitation. The diversion season can run from September 1st through June 14th, after all other senior water rights and environmental requirements are fulfilled. However, based on the extensive modeling conducted for the project, most water is diverted into storage from December through March. Water would come from two general sources, the Sacramento River and local creeks. Water from the Sacramento River is diverted at the existing Red Bluff pumping plant, owned by the United States Bureau of Reclamation and operated by the Tehama Calusa Canal Authority, and at the Hamilton City Pump Station, owned and operated by the Glen Calusa Irrigation District. Both of the pumping facilities on the Sacramento River being used by sites have state-of-the-art fish screens to protect fish during future project operations and water would only be diverted for sites after the project's diversion criteria are met, which are highly protective of fish and aquatic resources in the Sacramento River. Water diverted at the Red Bluff pumping plant would enter the Tehama Calusa Canal and will be conveyed down to Funks Reservoir. From there, the Sites Project Authority would pump the water up into Sites Reservoir through a series of pipelines and tunnels. Similarly, after water is diverted at the Hamilton City Pump Station, it enters Glen Calusa Irrigation District's main canal and will be conveyed down to the new terminal regulating reservoir. The authority would then pump this water up into Sites Reservoir through a series of pipelines and a tunnel. The maximum combined diversion capacity for sites is about 4,200 cubic feet per second, or approximately 8,000 acre feet per day. Water can move out of the reservoir at any time of the year. However, most water will be moved out of the reservoir in dry years, between the months of June and November. Water would be held in storage in Sites Reservoir primarily for use in dry years for people and the environment, until requested by one of the water or resource agencies participating in Sites. 
For water agencies not located along the Tehama-Calusa or GCID main canals, a new pipeline, Dunnigan Pipeline, will deliver water from sites back into the Sacramento River when needed so that it can be delivered to participants via existing conveyance facilities. A portion of the water stored in sites that's specifically for the environment will also move through the Dunnigan Pipeline. When operated in coordination with the State Water Project and Central Valley Project, water from Sites Reservoir can improve conditions for endangered fish species. Sites Reservoir will generate enough power to meet about half of its energy needs. The remaining energy will be produced through renewable sources. The Sites Project Authority is committed to a net-zero greenhouse gas goal, working hard to avoid, reduce, and then offset emissions that contribute to our changing climate. Sites is 100% rain-fed, and its performance improves with climate change. In addition to the local topography, building sites in this specific location allows us to use existing infrastructure that lowers the cost and overall footprint of the reservoir. Red Bluff Pumping Plant, Tehama Calusa Canal, Funks Reservoir, Hamilton City Pump Station, and Glen Calusa Irrigation District's main canal are all existing facilities owned by Sites Partners that are critical to the operation of Sites Reservoir. Of the 180 miles of conveyance infrastructure used by Sites Reservoir, only 15 miles is new. All other conveyance is existing. We also want to keep communities connected. Sites Reservoir will include a new bridge across the reservoir to maintain connections of local communities. The proposed realigned Sites Ladoga Road and Bridge will be built over the reservoir to continue the connection of the rural communities of Stonyford and Ladoga to the west with Maxwell to the east. In addition to providing water for people, the environment, and farms, Sites Reservoir would also provide new recreation opportunities. The three proposed recreational areas, Peninsula Hills Recreational Area, Stone Corral Recreational Area, and the Dayuse Boat Ramp Recreational Area, span about 618 acres. People from across the Sacramento Valley and visitors to this part of the state will be able to enjoy boating, fishing, camping, hiking, picnicking, and more for generations to come. It's time to build sites now.